commonly requested feature in IP Office is twinning. A couple notes about twinning. Twinning requires IP lines or PRI lines to function properly. By functioning properly, I mean ringing on your desk phone and your mobile phone at the same time and allowing you to pass a call back and forth. As of IP Office version 8.0, twinning is free and available for all users on the system. To configure twinning, it's quite easy. Click on Start, All Programs, IP Office, Manager. When Manager opens, it looks around the network for all available IP offices. Choose the IP office that you want to program. Click OK and copy and paste administrator into the password field and click OK. When the configuration opens, click on User. Click on the name of the user that you want to program, and then click on the Mobility tab. Under Mobility, you'll select Mobile Features, and then a number of things come up. Something to consider is turning on Twin when logged out. This enables the user to receive Twin phone calls when their phone is not logged in. Some other granular features include hunt group calls eligible for mobile twinning, which send calls through that are normally hunt group calls, forwarded calls eligible for mobile twinning, which send calls that were forwarded to your phone through to your mobile phone, 1x mobile client, if you have the licensing for it, and lastly, mobile call control. Mobile call control is the feature that allows you to press star star and then perform various short codes, including transfers from your cell phone when you've got a twin call on the go. Consider that the mobile dial delay is the amount of time that the system waits before sending the call out to your cell phone. A lot of people choose a zero because it takes several seconds to signal the cell phone network in the first place. So I'm going to change this to zero. At this point we could turn on twinning for the user by selecting the twinning checkbox and we could populate the user's number. Unfortunately, I don't know that person's cell phone number, so I'm going to deselect that and allow him to press it himself. I'll click OK, and then go to Button Programming and ensure that he has a twinning button. In the Button Programming tab, we can see that he already has a twinning key. The way that we program that is, double click on an available button, Click on the button options, go to emulation, and at the bottom of emulation you'll find twinning. Name the button something appropriate, such as twinning, and click OK. Now the user has the ability to turn on and off twinning and set his mobile twinning phone number just by pressing that button. We'll click OK to confirm our changes. Click on the Save Configuration File icon, select Merge, and Copy and Paste Administrator. You've now set up twinning for this user. You'll go to the user's phone, press the twinning button. It will prompt you for a cell phone number because we didn't know the number to populate. Once entered, with the dial prefix code in our case 9 to dial an outside line. If you don't have a dial prefix code, certainly don't put one in. Once populated, uh, twinning will automatically be on.